Sometimes it's everything to me. You know, even watching kids play, even if you watch kids play their heart, you see it puts smiles on their face. Empower us to do it. We are going for victory. Empower us, O Lord, in the name of So having a Manitoba Africa Cup of Nations was, was actually the, the breaking point where you could actually bring in your African team, your African skills, and your African expertise and experience into this tournament. And it was purely at that point for Africans. So then it was very, very important for me to be able and everybody else to showcase their talents, whether they are players, coaches or administrators, that was the best time for them to come in and be able to showcase this. This year was crazy, people are running with flags and dancing and drums and it, it's, been, it's been amazing. I do believe that. Soka is the language that we all can understand. We as Africans, or people of African descent, is one thing we all have in common. It's a passion for the game. that we had guest player, guest teams, sorry, uh, where we had Haiti and Canada as guest teams to make the 16, just to make it more exciting and more inclusive to everyone. The idea of guest teams is that we will have every year in, introduce other new guest teams so they can have a taste of the African culture and be able to play with Africans and uh, be part of the tournament and part of the excitement. Someone is going home tonight and it's not us. I promise you, bro. We want to be better every year because we'll make mistakes along the way, but the vision is a bigger vision. We want to make sure we go to each province. I just had a vision and I connected the passion that people had for, for soccer, for sport, with the vision that I had. I myself, I'll, I'll be very frank with you. If I tell you how did I do it, I think it was just finding the right people who we shared the same vision, the same goals about what we wanted, one for community, but also our passion for soccer was what made it possible. My most intense game to watch was uh, DRC Congo and South Sudan. Congo versus South Sudan. South Sudan against Congo. That game, in my opinion, was more intense than finals.
Times in a row, the quality of players that they have. I was not ex expecting those kind of things. Three years, Nigeria have won it uh, back to back, which uh, was good. But then I think this year everybody has, you know, pulled up their socks, and uh, you know, Congo. I've won it this year. It has been a very exciting tournament. Nigeria have met like three times and Nigeria have won. Two, I think two of them were penalties and one was just 1-0. And this year, DRC Congo beat them 4-0, which is surprising. ambitious you know when I look at the vision when I see what we need to do to develop soccer across Canada there's still a lot of work needs to be done right on a competition level side of it but also developing players on also giving opportunities to play where they can strive and also be able to compete on a Premier League, Premier League level or on a Champions League level or on a World Cup level so this is just the beginning I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all the African communities and non-African communities that participated in Canada African Cup of Nations Manitoba chapter for the great work. We won't be here where we are today without your help, without your support, and uh, without your trust as well. So thank you very much for the good work that you are all doing for your communities but also that you're doing to support Canada African Cup of Nations. Please stay tuned. We're here to support in any various way that you need help to develop the game, but also to foster our African communities across the province of Manitoba and Canada. Thank you so much for all you do.